All right, new episode. Last time we began the capital ship, or at least the first edition, the, uh, what's the good, the scout? Scouts, I would think, are usually small vessels. What would this be? Oh, look, I'm missing one. I need a RCS. There's no RCS on this side. Huh. Well, anyways, um, Corvette? Oof. What would what would you call the smallest class of a capital ship normally? Uh, you know, one thing I don't have at the moment is a way up. But you know what I think I wanted to do? I don't see the means, actually. I wanted to put some legs under these underneath this thing. After that, we could land it pretty much anywhere. But in this episode, we need to... Oh, I forgot to get some parts. We need to reestablish where the floor is going to be. And um, then start building out rooms. I still think this thing's going to need to have two floors, which means this level, this is probably actually accurate right here. When I look, it says RCS. Thruster enclosed M, RCS. Let's, boop, yeah, yeah, I got one. So it was just invisible. All right, okay, whatever. So let's see, I got me some riggers. And how big do they get? Like, uh, that's pretty big. That's contracted already. Is that what it looks like, fully contracted, or does that? Hmm. I kind of want them back here. I also want some up front. But again, I should probably wait until I have a better idea precisely how much real estate I need. Let's uh, let's take a quick look at that then. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Wrong buttons. Sorry. If this is the dividing line here. Actually, let me take these back to boop, boop, boop. Okay. If this is the dividing. I, I don't think the, I don't think this is going to remain there either, but you know what? Okay. See the back. The back is pretty uniform. Like so the sides are pretty uniform like so. The front so far isn't, and I don't think that's necessarily a problem. Um, but it doesn't mean I have to figure it out. Hmm. And where possible, well, actually, as I have said, I would like the uh, hovercraft to be able to exit from what is essentially a bay down here. So how about... How about we look to extend this down some? I'm gonna just put this here temporarily. And then, I suppose we could bend this backwards a little bit. Uh, where's the one I am looking for? It's probably this one. Boom, 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 right? Like so, boom, boom, boom. I forgot, I don't have... Uh, Parallels on or mirroring on, but I'm not sure if I care that much right now. But that establishes that we want to use this. Like so. Whoa, what the heck was that? I suppose in such a circumstance is good I didn't have mirroring on. Okay, so how does that look from the front? That looks okay from the front. Now, is this enough? I mean, that width-wise is plenty of room for a vehicle like that. But I don't know if that's the kind of vehicle you want. However, however, this is the smallest class of ship, so it doesn't need to have a battle tank or some sort of mining behemoth. It just needs a scout hovercraft, so that's probably fine. And... Well, let's see here. Let's go down one more. Like so. Do the repeat. 
P like so. Oh, nice. Did that just come differently? Boom, boom, boom. And then we repeat this again. Boom, 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 boom. Take back a couple of, couple of blocks here. Boom, boom, boom. I'll have to figure out how to like close this gap because you can see that shape and this shape are not entirely compatible. And how far back would this go? Hmm. But is that the whole height of it? Is that... I mean, this little guy can fit, I think, in this space. This is four meters tall right here. Did I bring glass with... Yes, okay. This is low-grade glass. I'm going to have to uh, tone it back up. But that's okay. I'll do that in a minute. I'm experimenting here with... Well, first of all, just trying to get... The... Ah, what just... Oh, dang it, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. All right, so just experimenting with... Uh... Bump, 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 bump. Experimenting with uh, an expanded view and a slightly sunken, slightly sunken. Oh gosh, it's hard. Oh come on. Oh, ah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can see though. But basically, we're the the command room here descends. And um, does it descend? How, how I'm trying to uh, bear with me. I'm still trying to figure this out, but maybe. It, hmm. 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 This is this is all very confusing. This is going to take me a long time to get just right. Actually, while I'm here, let's get this one in. Oof. Don't, that's on the wrong side somehow. Is that on the wrong side? Or is it just because it's low? Yeah, it's low armor. Okay, never mind. Oh, bear with me. Um, This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Let's get rid of this one. And put this one in its place. Along with this one. I can I can smooth out the blocks, make them look nicer later. I'm gonna put the command console right back here. Right, so right, so now they can look down and up and have a fairly wide view. Actually, boom, boom, well, no, that was fine. No, it wasn't fine. What am I talking about? What can I do? Um, Hello, boop, 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 right, and so-and-so, and, so, and then command console right out, right out in front. So this guy's suspended above all else. With a pretty commanding view, a pretty wide view. If you sit here, you can kind of see that way. Hmm. I'm not liking it, but I don't have anything better yet. Let's uh, let's get our way up and down in there. Twenty of these. Hmm? What's the problem? Uh, let's see. Move that around. Choop. Choop a doop. Wait, doesn't the other one? I'm probably mistaken. This one can be textured. Okay. All right. So that's the way down. All right. I've changed my mind a couple of times. But I do have something of a, 
underhull coming along. I'm going to have to step out of the way soon. Um, um, but uh, I'm getting towards the back, and it hasn't really upped yet. And I need to figure out, actually, I need one of those ramp things. Figure out how big and at what angles those operate. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> this is a new one to me. I'm not exactly sure how to interpret what I'm seeing. That's a good size. Two by two by three, three by two by three. One by two by three. Which way does that go? Page down. Page up. Uh, is uh, I'm guessing this part uh, up there in the corner is... I have no idea what I'm talking about. What? Hmm. Some of these shapes are just difficult. Some of these shapes are very difficult. Like, there's a lot more I could have done if there was like a triangular, like this piece right here, but at this shallowness, like that. And even at that shallowness, but like this width right here, boom, 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 very shallow. Please add that, people who make Imperion. That would be cool. Um, but in any case, these um, these shapes leave some awkwards. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I want this one? Yeah, I did because... So basically, this has to be dealt with from the inside. From the inside, we have a big basin here. But it seems like this is going to be established as the largest open... Or, you know, working deck with sort of opened up engineering wings on either side. I still have a lot of other things to put in, but I have a couple of empty nooks here. Not sure what to do with those. One thing I haven't done at all, really, yet, actually, aside from the underneath here, is establish where down thrusters or up thrusters are going to even be. But for the moment, actually, let me just take care of this, since I'm already under here. Uh, boom, 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 wrong. Uh, boop. Boop, boop. There we go, cool. And, oh. what, what? Hmm? Uh, is that the wrong one? That, yeah, that's just plainly the wrong one. Now I'm probably gonna do the same thing under here. So this guy, yeah, like so, like so, like so. And if I put this in here, where'd you go? It adds a little bit of curvature and also one extra layer of armor between outside attack and all that stuff. Let's see, get back in. Boop. <sighs> so, okay, that's sealed off. Hmm. Always the radiated fog. Let's see. And then that side. And if that's the case, then this side should be this one. Which looks true. Yep. And that one. Oh, oh, oh. And I need to repeat that on this side as well. Boom. Boom. Roll. Do a barrel roll. Okay. And on that side. So, bit of a ridge, bit of a cleft, bit of a ridge up here, there's still holes here. I think I might put some of the up and down thrusters right there to fill those gaps. Um, weird little tail, I don't know how to put it. But I mean, we have a shape, we have something. I'm expecting maybe I'll put a door up here to get out on top. But here's what we're dealing with. We've got floor here, which could be a floor here, except I need room. But there is a floor here, for sure. But then there's more floors up here. And this floor up here definitely only needs to be one deep. But that puts that one, to this level here, to too deep, which is 
isn't really necessary because back here it's going to be all <gasps> no 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 it may be necessary because engineering has some tall objects like the gravity generator and the the uh, the whatever the thing is so actually that may be appropriate that also means i still need to understand the docking ramp i need to try that docking ramp out now let's see I need to I need to put these things down. And I prefer if they were square. So let's assume for the moment. What's under here? That, nothing's under here, right? So what happens if I do this? Boink, 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 boink. What have we got? We're okay. Uh, I suppose um, I've turned off uh, mirroring for the moment. So let's see. Boom. Right? Boom. Okay. So that means... That's mildly ugly. That's mildly ugly. Oy. And how does that affect... How does that jive? That essentially jives with this being... This whole section here touching the ground. And if that's the case then really there's no point in having a docking ramp because one can just drive on up in here. But it also means... It also means the front... This t t spot down here is going to need a lot of repainting. <laughs> I suppose. All right, all right. So this... The shell of this thing is mostly done. I already don't like it as much as I'd hoped, but you know, you gotta, you gotta learn to be good at this stuff. And you know, I haven't been doing this this long. So what I do need though, is to start making this functional, man, I swear this thing. Eh. See, I've been trying to draw this on graph paper and I've, you know, I do okay when it's just one level, but as soon as I'm trying to figure out how do you get up to one level or down below and what's up there and what isn't, it starts to really drag out, which is sad because I used to be actually really good at this kind of thing. Uh, but not anymore. Um, but I'm going to need... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. I want to put it... I want to put the warp, warp core, one from the back. Oh, yes. Screw your radiation. Um, in part because I want a little bit more room... Oh, I'm low on this stuff. I'm going to have to go salvaging again soon. I want a little bit more room back here in terms of um, plating, you know, so that somebody who's chasing me, shooting from behind, isn't going to get through to the warp core immediately. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need... Hello? All right, I need... Uh. This, this puts killer... One thing I need to do is learn the math for all this stuff also. I, I'm more or less just taking it for granted. I can plop things in and then figure out after the fact. Ah, warp tank drive. We need this for it to function. I don't really want the warp... Well, let's just do... I don't want that touching base either. I want a little bit of armor between those just in case one explodes. And the other does not. Uh, let's see here. Put in some hardened steel. Boink. Um, maybe we can come up with something that looks nicer than that, actually. Uh, seven. Uh, dip, dip, dip. Okay, boink. Uh -huh. Textures later may help with that. Oh, let's see. I wanted to do a few more of those. Look, internal walls, I suppose. Well, I don't have enough of those things anyways. Internal walls. Let's just do a couple more of these on either side. And let's take it around the corner. How do I do that? This one. Oh, no. Wrong corner. Let's see here. Uh, what is the opposite corner of that? It exists, right? Or is... is that what this is? I think that's what this is. So let's turn it upside down. Whoa, whoa, wrong way. 
Wait. <laughs> Bear with me. Yeah, yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. Like, ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So now I need to do the same thing over here. Wink. Whoa. <laughs> Keep falling down. Uh, let's see. Now we got the thrusters over here. We need more engines. I'm going to go make a couple more engines real quick. All right, let's see about this. I'm just trying to think. Um, boom, boom, boom. Which way is that facing? Oh, wrong way. Okay, so what about this? Again, it's not... It's compact. I think it will open up some space. Can I do that on the other side? It will open up some space for other things. Oh, I see, because they're not quite the same. I can't do it that way. Uh, let's see. That looks good. Uh, almost. Boink. Right? And like so? Is that how it was on the other side? Yes. So that's kind of cool. Got a nice old engine core here. It's fairly dangerous in such that well, insofar as, um, you know, if it explodes, a whole bunch of systems are going to go with it. What I don't know, let's see, main. Let's compact the whole thing up together. Boink, boink, boink. Okay. Main, let's see. Uh, okay, the, what's the consumption on all the parts? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I have two more, though. We'll just assume, uh, whoops, could have sworn I had a second one of those. Do you see a second one? Because I don't. <clears throat> but anyways, wait, do I have the gravity generator in here? I don't. Do not have the gravity generator. I'm just wondering, can I have two gravity generators? Because I, I actually don't know. All right, the computer core will not stay there. I promise you that. Uh, let's see. I want this to be defended again. Mine. Let's uh, lock that down a little bit. Boink. Oh, I had it right the second first time. Like so. Very good. And then we'll put other bits of armor all over the place. I will... I'm not sure about back there yet, but pretty sure about this. Boink. And do I have a... Boink. I kind of don't. Okay, that's too, too narrow. Can I just do a different one? Sort of. Not sure if it gets me anything, but it doesn't not get me anything, <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, uh, let's see. Boink. Right? So, you know, a so-and-so uh, person could get access in under here if they have to. All right. So, what was the next part? I'm going to have to wrap the episode up pretty quick here. Let's put in some fuel. I want the fuel to be separate from all this. You know, putting things on the ceiling does a fair bit to, to spare me room. That's one thing that I was having a hard time really sort of picturing was how that all was going to work. But I, there's a couple items that need to be too tall, but this, not so much. But I do want it to be separate just in case somebody takes pop shots, you know, the fuel exploding doesn't remove everything else. And for that matter, because it's explosive, actually, I'm going to blink. I'm going to have some padding above it here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Put in some padding. It could be just that for now until we know better what we would like it to look like. More padding back here, more padding back here. I mean, it means there's some really thick armor back here, but it also means there's some really thick armor back here. Um, so. Hmm, that's too bad. <sighs> I 
bear with me as I think. I was thinking of putting some piping there, but you know what? For now, we can we can leave embellishments like that for later. Let's put some fuel in. How do I engage? I let's cut this in half. Blink, fourteen percent. Let's cut that in half. Keep some around for other purposes. Uh, let's put this little guy right here. Oof, like so. That way, whoop, we have a little bit of power. So let's see here. All told, a hundred. Wow, three? That little guy's only good for three? Whew. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure I have some warp fuel kicking around, but let's see what's missing here. I have no gravity. I have no oxygen. Right, but I can get this thing moving. So let's take a really quick, quick little test flight. Actually, oh, wait, in order to do that, I'm going to have to have a front. I do believe I'm going to keep this like so, like, uh, you know, have the three, three people up front here. Ah, dang it. Where did that just go? Dude, that's not cool. What? So we got the two, we got the captain, we got a uh, navigator and scientist. I think a communications officer doesn't really need to be able to see out a window. Uh, hello, good dog. Uh, really, is there anything missing here? F, whoop, no, no, F, V. Interesting. P, power. Okay, launch is kind of slow. Goes forward. Kind of slow. So I might want bigger, more. Ooh, it turns nice though. Oh, look at that. Ooh, no, don't crash. Okay. Woohoo. Oh, that's a nice turning radius. Ooh, I like that. Spry little Corvette. Okay, look, and there's the sun. So if that's okay with you, I'm going to take a quick screenshot and I'm going to call it an episode and, oh, crash into some trees and then thank you for watching.